Third time on a split board. I've been snowboarding over half my life, but that was all in the Midwest. Now that I have moved out to Montana, it seems like split boarding is the right thing to get into. So now I get to combine my two favorite things, which are hiking and snowboarding. Even though split boarding consists of about 90% climbing up the mountain and only maybe 10% of snowboarding. That doesn't bother me because lately I've been more of a hiker than a snowboarder anyway. So for me, splitboarding is only a little bit about snowboarding. Most of it is just about getting into nature, getting away from the crowds at the ski resorts, and enjoying the hike up. And then as a bonus, you get a nice reward and hopefully you get to ride some good snow on the way down. Since I'm just starting out, I'm doing some of the easier runs in the area. These are popular spots. Avalanche danger is pretty low and the terrain and all that is pretty easy. Just finished my level one avalanche training class. We spent three days out in the mountains and a couple nights in the yurt. It was really fun and also really humbling just to learn about all the different ways that you can die in the mountains from the snow. So that has definitely made me more cautious as I venture out into the backcountry, but also a lot more excited because there's a lot to learn out here and it's going to be fun gaining all that experience. One thing I learned from that avalanche course is that determining the avalanche danger in an area is kind of like solving a mystery. You'll never really know for sure but there are a lot of clues that you can find and you just have to know how to look for them. That kind of turns this whole thing into a game I guess it's a game with pretty high consequences, but that makes it kind of fun. It'll definitely get me to pay more attention, that's for sure. Since I'm still very new to exploring the mountains in the winter, this whole series is going to be kind of a learning experience. I think that's kind of what getting out into the wilderness is all about. Learning to manage the ratio between risk and reward. Starting out here. I'm going to keep my risk as low as possible and I'm just going to have to settle for kind of a lower reward but as I gain more experience and as I spend more time in the mountains um, I'm going to feel a little bit more comfortable taking higher risks. Well 
Well, this hike did not start off very promising. It was really icy down at the bottom and like hardly any snow. The whole way up, I'm just thinking that this is probably not gonna be worth it, but I'm already out here, so I might as well go up. And then, as soon as I got to the steep part, all the tracks disappeared and the snow started getting not bad. There's probably two feet of snow and I'm not worried about hitting rocks or anything like that. I don't even know where I'm going exactly. All I know is that I have to go up. So I'm kind of just figuring out that track as I go. I was on a hike out in this area a few days ago. Looked over and saw this mountain. Nice and open, no trees. Pretty shallow slope too, so the avalanche danger isn't very high. Only about a 1600 foot climb. So it's kind of a mellow spot. But while I'm doing this stuff alone, that's all I'm trying to hit right now. Good mellow spots. Probably could have picked a better time to come here. <laughs> As you can see, there's not much snow. And it looks like once I get over the top, there might be a small patch of some decent snow on the other side. <laughs> but I think today is gonna be a lot more about a cool hike than it is about snowboarding. And that's all right. so many rocks sticking out of the snow I had to hike down most of the way. Uh, maybe I'll come back in a month 